On the evening of Friday, September 27th, the three and one Dragons hosted the four and zero Rochester Adams Highlanders at Dragon Stadium. Lake Orion was hoping to bounce back from a heartbreaking loss to their crosstown rivals, the Oxford Wildcats, the previous week. To begin the game, the Dragons kick off to the Highlanders, and number 26 Matt Totner fields the kick and tries to make something happen. He fumbles the ball, and the Dragons fall on it on the 20-yard line. Senior T.R. Hill returned as quarterback after suffering a shoulder injury in the game against Troy two weeks earlier. On first and goal from the two, Hill is under center. He hands off the junior Jaden Barrero, who goes in for the score. The Will Hoffman PAT was good, and the Dragons take a 7-0 lead early in the game. On the ensuing drive, the Highlanders are moving the ball. On second and one on Lake Orion's 32, quarterback Ryland Waters is in shotgun. He chucks the ball downfield, and Lachlan Tillotson makes an incredible catch at the five-yard line. With Waters in shotgun, he runs the option and pitches it out to Mateo Humbert, who gets nailed on the one-yard line. Two plays later, Waters takes the snap, keeps it, and goes in for the score. The point after was good, and things are tied up at 7 with 5.39 left in the first. Following an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty on the Adams D, the Dragons have first and 10 on the 26th. On second and six, Hill is in shotgun. He takes the snap, fakes the handoff to Vasquez, bounces it to the right, and races to the goal line for the score. The point after was good, and the Dragons regain the lead 14-0 as the first quarter winds down. In the second quarter, the Dragons face a third and eight on the 20. Hill is in shotgun. He connects with Jamari Cooper, who reaches the three-yard line. Two plays later, Hill is under center. He hands off to Jackson Vasquez, who goes in for the TD. The PAT was good, and the Dragons are up 21-7 with eight minutes left in the second quarter. The Highlanders get the ball back and march down the field on first and 10 from the Dragons' 25-yard line. Waters takes the snap and hands off to Humbert, who hits the hole and races to the pylon for the score. The Highlanders pulled it within a TD, 21-14, with 4.34 left in the second. A Seymour 40-yard field goal closes the gap to 21-17 as the half comes to an end. Let's go to the third. Facing a third and seven on the Adams 17, Hill is in shotgun. He drops back to pass and hits the speeding Jamari Cooper in stride for the score. The PAT was good and the Dragons are up 28-17 with 2.34 left in the third. In the fourth quarter, the Highlanders have a fourth and goal. Nolan Ferris is in at QB for the injured Waters. The QB state bolts the Highlanders to within five. They decide to go for two to make the three-point game. Ferris takes the snap, rolls right, and dumps it to Humbert, who reaches the end zone. The Highlanders pulled within three, 28-25, with 9.30 left in the game. Adams kicks off the Lake Orion, who begin a drive from their own six-yard line. The Dragons move the ball and eat up the clock. On second and one on their own 40, Hill is under center. He hands off to Jaden Barrero, who goes 15 yards and fumbles the ball. It's recovered by Adams at their own 43. With the game winding down, the Highlanders need a field goal to tie or a touchdown to win. On first and 10 on Lake Orion's 45, Ferris is in shotgun. He takes the snap, drops back, and is sacked by Brandon Nepchuk. He loses the football but battles Lane Garris and recovers his own fumble on the 40-yard line for a huge loss. On fourth and eight on Lake Orion's 43, Ferris is in shotgun. He rolls right and launches it to Tillotson, who bobbles the catch. He's knocked out of bounds by Austin Kahn, just short of the first down marker. Turnover on downs. The Dragons come away with the win in a nail-biter, 28-25, and improve to a 4-1 record. We caught up with Coach Chris Bell after the game. Proud of the guys. I mean, this last week was a rough week. I mean, we really... You know, the guys are really down after losing to Oxford. You know, we, we didn't feel like we played as well as we should have. We credit to Oxford for making that happen. So and these guys aren't used to losing. I mean, they, they, they've had so much success the last couple of years that it's a, it was new for them, how, how to bounce back. And I was so proud of them. I think getting off to the fast start, getting the turnover on special teams right away and scoring really quick I think was huge. And then it was just kind of back and forth there, who's going to make the last play. So, so proud of our guys. Brandon Nepchuk with a huge sack, putting them behind the sticks. Yes. That was a big difference there, that last drive. So. Really, really excited for the kids.
The Dragons travel to West Bloomfield to take on the Lakers on October 4th, then return home for their homecoming game against Clarkston on October 11th. From Dragon Stadium, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ONTV Sports.